What's going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. I know it's been a long time since I've uploaded, but I'm very excited to start making videos for you guys again. I just want to kind of bring you guys up to speed on what's been going on with my life. So last time we talked, um, I know I was getting ready to do interviews. When I first started this channel, I was really interested in ortho, um, mainly for the sports aspect. I didn't, once I got to third year, I didn't particularly enjoy the ortho lifestyle. I actually did do a sports medicine sub I and I actually really enjoyed it. During my sports medicine sub I was able to work with an NBA G League team. Um, so seeing some of the NBA players that go back and forth between the NBA and the G League was awesome and being able to um, work with them and treat them. Every week I was working with a college team as well. So every Wednesday I'd go to their training center. Um, I'd either do sports physicals to clear them for activity um, or just treat them for whatever issues have been bothering them lately. It's really cool just getting that continuity with athletes, seeing those athletes every week, and just helping them progress through their training. So it kind of brought me back to my um, collegiate athlete days in gymnastics, and it just made me fall in love with it again. I did end up actually applying family, and just because of the way interviews work, I decided to not really post any videos. And then after interview season, Madison and I ended up going on our honeymoon to Bali, which was an amazing trip. Definitely the trip of a lifetime. I will be posting a video of that as well. After we got back from Bali, this was towards the end of February, then COVID hit, the quarantines hit, and honestly, I wasn't really doing much more than you guys. I still had a rotation in the hospital and that like basically turned all into online stuff. We got the information that our match day was canceled, so that was a huge bummer. And then after that, we got information that our graduation was canceled and then they would be moving it to a virtual ceremony. So just kind of overall, um, a little bit crummy of an experience, um, not really much to document since I was just staying at home like the rest of you guys. Once I knew where I matched, we actually ended up buying a house. So um, pretty exciting there. Uh, there are some really good options um, if you are a physician. Um, depending on your location, where we're at, it's very easy to buy a house without putting any money down. And our mortgage was still cheaper than our apartment rent. So it kind of ended up being a good deal for us just because the house wasn't stressing us financially and we we're making cheaper monthly payments. So obviously we have to take care of everything ourselves, but it was kind of a financial goal of mine to own property. So um, just we kind of hopped on the opportunity. Our house is like probably 99% done. Once that all that's up, I'll be sure to give you guys a house tour as well. And then in July, I started residency like everyone else. So our first month of residency was kind of like an orientation month, where the first week we just kind of got all of our certifications. And then the following three weeks, we rotated through different services of family medicine. We rotated through our family medicine clinic, where we kind of got established with patients and the clinic flow. And then we rotated through our family medicine inpatient service just to see how that all works. And then we rotated through our family medicine OB newborn service. After orientation month, the next month, I actually started on OB nights with the OB program instead of the family medicine program. I was in their territory, just having them showing me the ropes. Um, because as a second year, we will be covering nights on our own OB service by ourselves. We kind of learn everything we can from the OB program and then um, use that knowledge during our second year. We're kind of a lot to talk about with OB and that OB nights experience, so I'll definitely be making an OB nights video in the near future. Now, currently, I'm on our family medicine inpatient service. There are three family medicine interns always on that service, um, and then two are working the day and one are working nights. So I'm currently the night intern. I basically uh, run the show by myself. I do have an upper level, but they're typically sleeping. So I just call them if anything crazy happens. But last night was my first night. It was a pretty good night. So hopefully that trend continues throughout the rest of the week. But I will of course be making a whole separate video on this rotation as well. So yeah, that's kind of been what's been going on in my life. I wanted to get in the groove of residency, get a feel for everything. So with all that being said, in my time being constrained with residency, I am hiring a YouTube video editor. So basically my requirements for a YouTube video editor are pretty simple. I just ask that you have the time and ability to produce one to possibly two videos a week, eight to 10 minute videos long, very simple style, keeping the similar style of um, editing that I do in my videos. Obviously, I would like for you to have prior experience editing YouTube videos, not necessarily for someone, um, it can just be for yourself. And then the last requirement is I just ask that you be located anywhere between the Pacific Standard Time and Eastern Standard Time. I'm located in Central Standard Time, so I'm able to work with any time zone between there. Kind of an added bonus 
bonus, not necessarily a requirement, but if you do have previous experience editing YouTube thumbnails or any kind of graphic design experience, that is a bonus as well. Uh, so I'm super excited to hire someone. This is absolutely a paid job. It will require a decent amount of time. So if you are interested, definitely drop all of your information in the form below. I'll make a Google form for you guys to submit your applications and then I will be picking someone soon. Kind of with that being said, in, in me hiring an, uh, a YouTube video editor, there might be a slight delay between this video and the next but hopefully we can get someone on board soon and I'm super excited about it. So I just want to give you a short and sweet update of what's been going on with my life. Thank you guys so much for the continued support. Um, and if you guys aren't already following me on Instagram, I'm super active on there with my day-to-day -day life. So make sure you guys follow me on there. It was great seeing you guys again and I'll see you guys next time.